All right. So just want to make sure you guys are in the right place. So this is the Ready, Set, Lunch into 2020-2021 school year program with the AFIA Project. So welcome and thank you for joining us. Uh, please ensure that you are muted once you get in. Um, we're going to get, go ahead and get started. Uh, thank you so much for spending your Sun, not Sunday, Saturday afternoon with us. My name is Demi Fozia Adebo Adelaja, and I'm the chair of the Appia Project Board. Um, we're so glad to have you here with us. We have quite a few things to get through. Bismillah. Bismillah uh, wa salatu wa rasulullah wa ala ali ashabi ajmain. Before we get started, um, I would like to cover some housekeeping items. Uh, please ensure that your mics are muted once again. We ask that you, if you have the camera on, um, please observe some decorum. We are uh, recording this session and also it's going, it's on Facebook Live. Uh, we also ask that you please type in your questions into the chat function if you have any questions for us, okay? All right. For those who do not know about us, I would like to introduce our organization, the AFIA Project. Um, First, our name, Afia. As some of you may be um, familiar with the word Afia, it's an Ab Arabic term that encompasses the well being of an individual. It includes being in a state of good health, being safeguarded from afflictions, and having adequate sustenance. Um, and this was really what uh, inspired me to name the organization as such. Uh, so you may recall the hadith of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he, with an exchange with his uncle, where he advises uncle to ask for afia, which is well-being. In the, it comes from the um, the dua, dua, Allahumma inni as aluka al afia. So that's what we hope to achieve with the organization. Um, our general, our um, we want to be able to address general health disparities um, that's experienced by minority members of the PG County. But we definitely we're opening up all our programs and activities to everyone outside of PG County as well. That's Prince George's County. Um, we endeavor to make a significant contribution to the health, educational advancement, and well being of our Muslim minority community members through community based activities and events such as what is to take place. Um, some of the information we're, we're going to be giving you this afternoon. So, we're mixing health as well as a scholastic achievement to help um, close the gap on health disparities. So the year 2020, uh, without a doubt, has been a year of challenges. <laughs> and um, this school year is, is probably going to be more so because this is um, the, for the first time we're starting uh, a school year with this kind of um, COVID-19 um, pandemic uh, hovering over us. And it's not just us in this county, in the state, in this country, but in the whole world. So everyone is, um, is affected by COVID-19. So with that in mind, we have to do things a little differently. Uh, and we're trying to get creative with the way to do things. So we're still able to reach our children and provide them with the support and um, activities that they need for success. All right, um, with this set of challenges, the AFIA project launched uh, the Ready, Set, Launch program. Uh, the idea is to help students uh, launch into the new school year strong. We want to provide them with as much support to help them be successful in this year and beyond, inshallah. Uh, so first we have the virtual First, we have the virtual homework and tutoring support that will be provided in collaboration with the ACAC Family Foundation. Um, they're going to be doing virtual homework and tutoring support and also college prep work, you know, SAT prep and things like that. Um, and when uh, uh, we we're gonna have a hijack of fire present on that piece. Then we have the after school clubs, which will provide addition, which I will provide additional uh, information about the three different uh, clubs that we have. We have the AFIA Kids Club for kids six months to six years. The AFIA Stars, uh, those are seven to 12 years, and the Senior Stars, oh, I put starts, but Senior Stars, uh, those are 13 to 17 year olds. Okay. And thirdly, we have a, the, the STEM Enrichment Program, which I'm so excited about. Um, this project will, is being put together by a partner, SciTech to you, and Sister Zainab Abbas uh, who is here to give us more information about that. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna turn this over to Haja Kafaya to give us more information about the virtual homework and tutoring support. 
Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Can you hear me? No. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Um, I, I want to say thank you for everyone that has joined this platform. And, um, you know, like uh, Sister Fausia said, um, the year 2020, you know, just by the number itself, everybody was, ex was excited. Oh, yeah, this is 2020. It's going to be unique. It's going to be this and that. And sure enough, Allah, with his, in his infinite blessing, he made it unique. And there were so many things that are unique about it. But alhamdulillah, I believe that um, with every cloud, there's always a silver lining. And, um, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. So having said that, with the unique um, school year, we have uh, been able to, with the blessing of Allah, we've been able to harness that and make something positive comes out of it. And by that, I'm saying that um, in our community, along with the AFIA project, we wanted to, you know, talking about um, healthcare, uh, I mean, you know, the well being of an individual. So we, we, we talked about scholastic achievement also. So on that aspect, Allah has blessed us with so many resources in our community. Mashallah, it's been a blessing that um, we've been able to come up with this unique opportunity for our children. And that is to do a virtual homework and tutoring support with the assistance of the people in our community. So at this point, we are going to be um, starting this um, homework, help and tutoring services for kids in first through 12th grade. And alhamdulillah, uh, currently we have 11 tutors, including myself that makes 12. As every one of you know, I am an educator. I have been, a, um, I've been in the classroom for, I was in the classroom for over 10 years. Yes, I am no longer in the classroom, but I still believe that um, once an educator, brother, I'm that we verify to that, you're always gonna be an educator. That's the only educator that I know on the platform. But alhamdulillah, with um, the AFIA project and with the Isaac Family Foundation, what we have done is that we have, um, because this is an Islamic based organization, so we, what we did is we went out to recruit people in our community, people that you guys are familiar with and that I believe you can entrust the well-being of your children too, because it's very important that we have to trust whomever we are doing this with. So yes, we have 12 tutors and um, we have educators. I believe we have two certified, um, or three, including myself, certified teachers in the program and that also are familiar with tutoring. We have three other um, adults in this program that are paid tutors. They tutor on the side with their jobs. These are people that work, they have worked for Kaplan. They've worked for, we have a couple of people currently work for C2 Education. I know you guys are familiar with these um, organizations. So yes, it's not just something that we are doing just for the sake of it. We are actually doing it to make an impact on our children. So yes, we have people that are willing and able to, prog to provide these resources for our children. Uh, currently, we are um, trying to come up with a schedule and um, give the children time to, to, to familiarize themselves with what's going on in school before we, we launch this program. But the first set of launch, the, the first set of programs that we will be launching is the college prep. We have about four, three, four college students, um, 12 graders, seniors, and that those are that those are the people that we are going to immediately be working with in the next week or so. So yes, we're going to be providing SAT prep, essay writing for colleges, and hopefully help with the college application process. Yes, your children do for the seniors, they do have some help in school, but you know, as you all know, school counselors, one child, I mean, one counselor to have X number of children. But in this case, I think um, I can speak for Brother Amzad and everyone on this platform. We have a personal interest for, in these children. These are our children. So we're taking this seriously. And um, so for the parents that are on this platform today, please understand that we are here. We are resources for, we are resource for your children, but this is a very serious endeavor. And I'm going to take this opportunity to, um, to appeal to the parents that please make sure that you connect, you are in the loop with your children, whatever it is that we are doing. 
the schedule should be rolling out in about two weeks once schools, because some school system, they are still kind of, you know, uh, formulating what is, what is going to happen, how many days the children will be off and what days they will take for off. So that's what we have. And along with the tutors, we will be providing a software, ed um, educational software program whereby all the children will be given access to uh, a login and a password. And this is a, a software that is being used by other school system. And uh, some of them are not using it anymore because they had to they move on to other things. But I find this software to be very good. It is called the IXL program. It is a paid service that we, um, the foundation is gonna pay for. And then we will give the children the access. And it's very important to encourage your children to do this, to use this software also. Uh, because we are going to be conducting a data-driven um, program and we're going to test and we're going to see and go back and make sure that we are progressing the way we are. They should be progressing and this will be based on data. I have communicated that with some of our parents. Registration is still going on right now. So um, Sister Fauzia will share some of uh, the registration link for parents that are still interested in this. But again, we have a very limited number because we want to be effective. We want to touch these children. Uh, we want to make an impact. And so um, we have a certain number uh, to cut off because our resources are limited. So we make sure that we serve, we are able to service the people on our roster. I think our cutoff will be 20, 20, between 20 and 25, because at this time we have 12, including myself, we have 12 tutors. And hopefully, inshallah, we will put any other person after 25 on the waiting list. And hopefully, you know, as we get more tutors, we can have more students on the roster, inshallah. So um, again, um, my name is Sophia Desiak. And, um, you know, uh, if you're interested, Sister Denny will share the um, login with you and that uh, you have my um, contact information on that uh, registration program, inshallah. So again, thank you so very much for giving us this opportunity to be part of um, your children's um, scholastic um, achievement. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank you so much, Haja Kafaya. And yes, I will be sending out a note with all the links for registration um, for each and every aspect of this, uh, the programs and activities we're presenting to you all. Okay, so next. Uh, okay, so our after school uh, clubs are next. Uh, these are oriented to academic slash scholastic achievements and life skills building for our kids. Uh, the aim is to help improve academic performance, promote positive social skills and encourage a healthy lifestyle. Um, facilitators for each of the clubs um, ha will have specific content um, expertise. So we have three of them, the first, as, as previously mentioned, the Kids Club, the Afia Stars, and then the Afia Senior Stars. And um, just a little bit about um, after school, um, after school activities. When assessing the value of out of school programs, uh, a 2017 report by the Wallace Foundation found that a combination of experiences over a course of a year may contribute more to youth development um, act, uh, ac academic attainment and life success than those um, that they get from just an individual program, such as, you know, maybe basketball, soccer, or football um, that they get to play after school. Granted, this year, it's going to be very much um, limited anyway, but, and this is not to knock down those types of activities, but just to encourage parents to also, in addition to those sports type activities, to look into other types of after school activities that's really going to help, um, it can help improve the kids' life skills and just uh, help them start thinking for the future, be it, you know, um, colleges, uh, future education attainment, or even if it's, um, something more hands-on that they wanna do in the future. Um, so while we may not be able to provide a physical or face-to-face -face activity uh, this school year, we certainly will ensure that the young children in our clubs are exposed to a diverse set of activities um, that we hope will help them, help set them up for success. All righty. So the first, oh, before I get into the kids club, we're gonna have a giveaway. Uh, so the first person on this, participating in this, um, uh, workshop to figure out what STARS stands for gets a face, an Afia face mask. So this is, you can, you can choose the kids one, which is this, 
depend on, you know, if you want to give it to the kid or the adult version, which is this. So go search online right now and tell us what STARS stands for. So go to the Appia Project website to look for that. Um, and that's theappiaproject.org, T-H-E-A-A-F-I-Y-A-H project.org. All right, so next. So the Kids Club is for kids six months to six years old. The goal is to help them establish a, a healthy lifestyle and improve uh, reading literacy. So we're gonna have a lot of um, story times with them. Um, some of the things we're, we're gonna offer will include monthly themes. So our first month in October, we, we're toying around with the idea of um, an annual checkup. You know, kids at that age really need to have a consistent annual checkup. Um, we're gonna share resources with parents. We're gonna share books to read. We're gonna have activities where, you know, Parents can record themselves reading to the kids and share with other parents and things like that. It's real to encourage the health literacy, I mean, sorry, the reading literacy um, piece of this. Uh, we're gonna have a monthly workshop uh, where we're gonna invite a guest speaker. So in the month of October, where we're thinking about having um, um, annual checkup as the theme, we're gonna have a pediatrician come and talk with the parents and the kids and just really help us understand why we should take care of our health. Um, our first meeting is going to be on Saturday, October 3rd at 2 p.m. So please mark your calendars. And it's going to be limited to only 10 kids. We can only handle so many kids <laughs> at once. So go ahead and sign up now. Uh, the website is down there, um, the appyourproject.org slash kids slash club. Okay. Next. Before I turn it over, so I'm gonna turn it over to the sister, Jimmy, to introduce the Athia Stars. Um, but let's check and see, do we have a winner for, has someone figured out what um, the star stands for? All right. No, we don't have a winner yet. We don't have a winner yet. Come on guys, what does star stand for? I'll give you a hint. It's the S stands for students. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and proceed. So Sister Jimmy, go ahead and um, proceed. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Sister Jamoke or Sister Jimmy, whatever which one you prefer. Um, I have a background in psychology and women and gender studies but I also have um, an interest in working with youth. Um, for about two to three years, I worked at a um, charter boarding school in Baltimore, Maryland called Sea School of Maryland. Um, I was a student life counselor. So I basically, when I tell people, I was like, I feel like I was the mother of the, um, the boarding house. So I took care of the kids, made sure that anything that, um, once they got out of school, I was responsible for them, including finishing their homework, uh, making sure they were attending the clubs, attending sports, and just any, um, I guess, any counseling that they needed, like if, because their parents weren't around, so I was the um, person. So Afia Stars is a, um, a passion for me because I just feel like at the age of between seven and 12 years old is a critical age for young adults. Um, because they are basically young adults at that age. Um, and they do, as you can see, star students taking actions and responsibility. So at this time, they will be needed to take responsibility and action. And we need to be able to teach them how to take um, action and responsibility. Um, can you go ahead, sister? Um, so our goal is to empower students, build life skills, and refine healthy lifestyle. So when you're building life skills, um, you need to be able to teach the child the things that will go with them throughout their lives. Um, I know that growing up in a Nigerian Muslim home, the life skills that I was taught young, as a, at a young age has brought me so far in life and also um, implementing these life skills to my children. So um, I'm really excited about this um, project. Can you go ahead, please, Sisafia? I mean, Sister Faza, sorry. And we're going to be offering social slash emotional wellness, scholastic activities, leadership skills, building and building fun activities such as games, game night, virtual cooking classes. Um, as I mentioned before, we're in a pandemic, which I know that a lot of students, a lot of, yeah, a lot of students are 
going through um, social, you know, not being able to go out, not being able to see their friends, not being able to see their family members. So we need to be able to have um, a platform where they can express their, you know, their emotional, like if they're sad, if they're upset, if they're happy, they need to be able to have that life skill. So our first event will be held on October 4th, 2020, which is a Sunday. And we will be um, learning from the Big Life Journal. I would really, 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 really appreciate if every um, family member who signs up for this um, Afia Stars orders the book, we'll be able to share the link with you. But if you can't, um, we understand, but eventually down the line, we would like you to. So with the Big Life Journal, it will just be teaching the students about strong social emotional learning, um, how to um, grow their mindset, like growth mindset skills, engage it in guided activities, and just to help the children to discover themselves, so how to believe in themselves, because that's one thing I feel like a lot of our students um, don't have nowadays. Some of them don't have that confidence, and you need that confidence in this, in this life, in this world, because every day is a new beginning. So I look forward to seeing um, everybody on October 4th, Please sign up now because we do have a limit of 15 students. We would love to see everybody on October 4th. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sister Jimmy. Um, so we do have a winner, um, the participant, Olaji Day M. If you can just um, send an email to, I'll, I'll put the email address to so the Afia Project, sorry, contact at theafiaproject.org. We will try to get that gift to you. Um, thank you so much for participating. Uh, next, we're going to have Brother Hamzat talk about the Afia Senior Stars. So go ahead, Brother Hamzat. Uh, so I'm like everyone. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, so do you want to introduce myself? My name is Brother Hamza Saba. I'll be uh, uh, spearheading the Apia Senior Stars Project, and we're going to be going from ages 13 to 17. I am currently an educator in Washington, D.C., as well as a uh, athletic administrator, athletic director for my school. So what does that mean? I, I run all of the uh, athletic programs. I hire coaches, fire coaches sometimes. Um, and just to make sure that all of our different teams are kind of prepared. I'm also an educator. I'm in the classroom. I've taught um, algebra through pre-calculus. I'm a math teacher. But currently, I'm working primarily with our seniors, uh, teaching a collegiate symposium course. And the collegiate symposium course, our, 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 uh, our focus and our, our goal is to prepare our kids for life after high school. That is the, that is the biggest uh, goal. I think that is the, the most important goal of any teacher or anybody really in, in a kid's life. So we, um, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be building life skills. We're going to be doing some college preparation. We're going to be uh, trying to build them and, 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 uh, um, and developing them the ability to be leaders amongst their peers. And of course, uh, with Opia Stars, you can't go anywhere without a healthy lifestyle. So uh, we're going to be doing physical activity every day. Uh, we're going to have a, a professional a soccer player come join us uh, for each of our sessions. He's going to be running the healthy lifestyles portion, and we're going to be uh, kind of putting the kids through some kind of physical activity every session followed by uh, our educational piece. Uh, again, how are we doing this, right? Our, our first uh, set of, I guess our, our first big focus for the Apia Senior Stars is gonna be financial literacy. Um, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, but we're gonna be doing public speaking activities as well. And of course, every day we're gonna be having some kind of discussion. Uh, we're gonna center the discussion around social justice right now because that's a big hot button topic in our society and, uh, and, and some other uh, important things, voting and the election and all kind of different things. We're, we're definitely going to be talking about social justice and things that are going on in our, uh, in, in our community. Uh, next slide. All right. So like I, like I said a second ago, we're going to begin beginning uh, our first session is going to be October 4th at 3 p.m. And our big button topic is going to be financial literacy. I think that is the most important thing for any student, any uh, student that's going to be uh, uh, that hopes to be prepared for the real world. Right. Because that's the biggest thing. So we're going to be covering budget. We're going to be covering assets versus debt. And what does that mean? Understanding your credit score and how important that is in life. I think that that's who you are in this America that we live in, right? Everything is all about credit. And uh, so getting getting them to understand that at an early age so that by the time they graduate, they're uh, credit conscious and they're always thinking to build that credit. We're going to uh, also uh, develop or, or I guess create a stock portfolio for them. That's the, the goal. Um, each kid is going to actually begin trading stock. So our hope is that they 
there's a study out there that shows that anybody who has a, uh, a stock at an early age is more financially literate. They, they, they end up being wealthier and more financially conscious. So that will, that's what we want to develop in our students as well. So we're going to be uh, teaching them about the stock market and investing. We're going to be doing something called the real world project, where every week that they come to us, they're going to get a budget. Uh, they're going to get a, a, a amount of money based on the career that they hope to have in the future. And once they get that money, they are going to have to actually plan out a budget. They're going to have to uh, find a place to live in the area, in the DMV area, find an apartment. They're actually going to go online, find these apartments, find these things, see actually how much they actually cost. So they can actually realize what my parents are actually paying. So once they figure out how, what, uh, where they're going to live and how much it costs, they're going to find uh, whether they're going to tr uh, take public transportation or they're going to get a car. How much does that cost? How much does insurance cost? How much is health insurance? How much is uh, uh, your entertainment cost, right? Am I going out to eat? You know, I ask parents, I ask my parents for $20 every time I go to the movies. What does that actually add up to in the long run, right? So we want them to get a real sense of what money is, right? Because right now, I think a lot of times they, they get money, they spend it, it's not a big deal. But until you become an adult, then you realize, hey, I need to slow down a little bit. So we want them to get that experience before they graduate, before they get to college and really start mastering. So uh, unfortunately, we only have the uh, a limited capacity. We can only take 15 students right now just because uh, it's difficult to try to accomplish as much as we want with too many students, right? So we're only taking the first 15 students uh, that apply. So hopefully uh, your, your, your child is among those first 15 and sign up will be available, um, be available now. All right, thank you so much, Brother Hamzad. I'm excited to be part of that class. <laughs> so I'll be I am too. By my kid. <laughs> All right, so next we have the STEM program, uh, and we're going to have Sister Zainab Abbas um, tell us a, little, a bit more about it. Yeah. So I'm like, um, um, I'm Zainab. Um, I found SciTech to you about nine years ago in 2011 when I was working at a um, for-profit college in Atlanta, Maryland, and I realized that a lot of African Americans didn't know a whole lot about biotechnology. And so I thought the best way to expose African-Americans to this field is to start young. And that's kind of how, I mean, there's a backstory to this, but basically that's the gist of it to keep it short. So I started with after school programs, weekend programs and summer camp. And um, last November, I did like a Shark Tank thing with um, a um, incubator um, nonprofit incubator and I actually won and just just kind of blossomed after that. I've kind of been in Montgomery County kind of keeping it here so um, Fazia got on me like why don't I know about this? <laughs> but lot, you know the kids love it they learn a lot so um, that's pretty much the gist of um, where we are and um, like everyone else we're very limited but I'm accepting 30 students and I'm accepting 10 elementary 10 in middle and 10 in um, high school. And um, if you could pull up our, the, I just wanna go over everything. I don't wanna, you know, spend too much time, but we're, um, I, the theme for the flyer was kind of um, aerospace, aeronautics. I said, I'll keep my theme kind of in line with, you know, the um, theme of the flyer. So I, I do several different programs I do anatomy and physiology, I do um, engineering, I do chemistry, genetics. My background is in molecular and developmental biology. So, but I cover like the gamut. The only thing, oh, I did a little bit of robotics on um, one winter and they love it. But um, the theme this year is gonna, I'm gonna kind of stick to aeronautics and engineering. So week one, October for um, starting the first week of October, we're gonna go over Bernoulli's. Um, principal, they're going to learn about drag and thrust and everything related to aeronautics. Then I chose grasshopper dissection, throwing in a little bit of anatomy there and kind of look at the aerodynamics of um, animals, just kind of talk a little bit about animals and have them go, you know, dig in and do dissections. And then we're going to um, go through the engineering design process in week three. And of course, I'm going to kind of cater each project so to each grade levels. So everybody has, you know, different projects. Um, airplane design, they'll do, a, uh, they'll prototype, they'll draw it out, clay model, develop a prototype, 
uh, and then um, actually do a design build using using bursa wood. And then they also have an opportunity to um, look at density, you making a parachute and see how density actually affects. A lot of times the kids, like the other, yesterday, I had my kids look at density with, you know, the oil and the water and, you know, some a syrup, but I'm going to kind of expose them to like density is used in other ways and kind of have, um, you could do other experiments with that. So they'll do the um, parachute project. And then um, actually we're going to have a week, kind of like a week off, but a weekend where they, the high schoolers will get to actually fly a plane. So they'll do, um, they'll fly a plane. And then the middle and high school, I mean, sorry, middle and elementary school students will do flight simulation where they actually take a yoke in a simulator and actually fly and they could see them flying over, you know, the area that their, um, their air park is in. Thanksgiving break, I'm going to have a lecture series. I'm sort of in the process of lining up um, some lecturers to have a, either a panel discussion or lecture series on careers in STEM that, because um, a lot of the students in my past stated that, you know, I didn't know that, you know, I could be this or that. So one of the things that I thought about is having because it's a short week for Thanksgiving, just have a lecture series where all the students are in one group and they get to ask questions of people in different professions. Um, in December, we're going to do a little bit of rocketry. Um, we'll actually, with Bernoulli's principle, we'll do a little bit of rocket, you know, do like a rocket um, experiment on day one, but we'll really go, the high schoolers will actually get to shoot a rocket off. And then the um, Middle, middle school and elementary school students will also get to shoot a rocket, but it won't be an ignited rocket. It'll be something that it just kind of more physical. And then they're gonna experience um, um, anti-gravity. So I don't know if everybody's familiar with iFly, but you actually go in and they have this big um, fan, I guess, and they get to actually fly semi -so solo the first experience they have someone in there with them to kind of help them but with more experience they can actually fly on their own so you can probably youtube it and see that how that works um the before they actually go in uh, week 10 they'll have a workshop where they get that experience and then they'll go in and fly at iFly. Um, the, the winter break, I give everyone a break, including myself, sort of. I have a winter camp. There's a full day program, so I'll be running that. And then the kids will have a break. And then in January, we we're going to do electronics. So there's a, a electronic kit, you know, for every student age appropriate. The high school students will do We'll have an Arduino, which is also something I'm still kind of learning about myself. But it really, uh, it's almost like a miniature computer, kind of putting computer together. I think Hamza, he's I, the math probably was probably knows a little bit more about Arduino than I do, or probably a lot more about Arduino. But I want to expose them to that as well, and you know, I want to try to make it student centered, student led, because they they learn through questioning and answering and doing. So that's basically. The, um, the gist of it, uh, I'll try to, if we have room, I'll try to squeeze in some chemistry in there to, I, I'll, I'll see, I'll see what we can do. But I, my hope is to continue this program throughout the entire school year. So I'm in the process of um, grant writing. I sent off a LOI today um, for another grant that will help support the the continuation of this program and that could include a lot of you know some genetics in there and maybe some chemistry as well but that's the gist of um of the program for the winter yeah thank you so much sister zaina and you know she uh, sister zaina mentioned applying for grants we're trying our darnest to make this um programs either free to you or at a super low cost uh, at a low rate um the step the tutoring is um at a free of cost to you all the kids clubs, the, all the three clubs um, are free, but the STEM one, we are asking for $10 um, registration. It's $10 per month. And for the four months, it's about $40 for the registration, which really is very little. <laughs> I paid a ton of money for um, STEM programs that I've enrolled my kids in the, in the 
previously, and um, this has a lot of potential. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been to iFly before, <laughs> and I loved it. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And I've always wanted my kids to like have the experience of actually flying an airplane. You can start as early as uh, as young as 12 years old, apparently. So just having that exposure, I feel like, would be a way to kind of push me further to look into it more. Um, I did send a, a whole bunch of links in the um in the chat box so please copy that uh so you have it those are the links to the tutoring to the clubs and also to the stem program as well as the big uh, life journal uh book the link to purchase that book um once you register then we'll be communicating with you about that particular specific program but the works this workshop was really just to give you all an idea of what we have to offer for this school year and you know we'll let you know as we add things um uh, as we go. Uh, does anyone have any questions, comments that you want to? You can unmute yourself. I think you're able to. Yeah, this is Sister Kafaya. Okay. I, I just, I just want to encourage the parents that are in the tutoring program. It is, you would not believe how good the program, the after school and the, um, the Afia Club and this um, STEM program is. Um, Sister Demi, remember when we were looking at Dr. Bell's program? I mean, that would of course your children. I mean, there are programs like this that doesn't even have stuff like this that you pay average of $120 a week. <laughs> so, Actually, I, I mean, I was gonna, I'll add to that because normally my course, the program is $175 a week. Yeah. So, and then the $10, honestly, if you can't, you know, it ends up being like $40 for the entire program. If you have an issue or know someone who has an issue paying that, you know, that could be waived. So, you know, don't not right. sign up because of the $40, but yeah. And the I fly thing, my daughter did it in uh, Orlando. It was awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. it was awesome. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, these, like I said earlier, um, you know, when things happen, we take it as a challenge and oh, we win and high in. But as Muslims, what we should look at is, okay, how can we earn something good? We all know, everybody mm -hmm. knows this. There's always a silver lining beneath every cloud. So for the COVID, um, you know, somewhat, I, I don't want to even call it difficulties. I just want to say challenge. What we've been able to do is to, um, you know, bring out some good things and, you know, the the, the virtual homework, the, the happiest stars. I mean, mashallah, that is something that those of us that are participating in the homework log, Please, these are things that your children would benefit from immersely. I wish I had that uh, brother and um, dad's program in when I was, you know, in high school. And by the way, brother and um, dad is going to be also one of the college prep um, tutors for the IFF tutoring pro program. So again, uh, we want to say thank you so much to Sister Damien for um, bringing this together with the after year program and also to Sister Zainab, and I want to say a big thank you for my uh, tutors that are volunteering their time and their resources, which we know everybody, if you go to um, Mathnasium, uh, C2, and these are the things we are, we are trying to bring to our children. And, um, you know, especially, especially with this uh, virtual learning, the so-called virtual learning, so that we will be able to um, you know, we are promoting scholastic excellence. That is the goal, scholastic yeah. excellence. So thank you so much for attending this uh, program today. And we hope to, that uh, you will partake in this um, wonderful resources that is offered to you, inshallah. And may Allah continue to bless us and be with us and um, hopefully, um, you know, give our, be able to give our children the best in this world and pre um, prepare them for the year after, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you so much, Haja Kafaya. Um, I truly appreciate everyone's dedication, everyone's contribution. Um, we're excited to get the school year started. Um, you can email us at contact at theappiaproject.org. 
um, check out our website, theafterproject.org. Um, we have a, a WhatsApp uh, phone number. Um, please like us on Facebook, Instagram, and all that good stuff. I'm still learning that, <laughs> but we're getting there. Um, so if, if, um, if anyone has any additional questions, um, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask a question right now. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and use the link, make use of the links, copy it because once the Zoom uh, session ends, it's gonna disappear. So copy what we have sent in the, in the chat, for chat room um, so you can have access to those links. Any questions? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Um, so I, I kind of joined in about 10, nine, 10 minutes into uh, the webinar. So I have a question about the um, tutoring service. Okay. Is that for all ages? Hajjah Kafai. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is for um, first grade through 12. Inshallah, that's what we are hoping to do. So it's going to be different from the activities that is going to be going on in the um, senior stars, or is it's going to be related? No, it's separate. It's separate. Uh, it is strictly homework. It's almost like a tutoring service. Okay. It is homework. They come in. Um, it's going to be uh, homework help and assistance. And for the seniors and uh, like a junior and seniors, we will be doing SAT prep for them with, with them rather. Oh. And um, also it's um, there's a, we have a, a software program that they can also use to practice um, skills and concept based on their curriculum. It is the, the it's going to be um, based on the uh, Maryland State Curriculum, the program you can uh, use um, to, to reinforce skills that are being taught in schools. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Jazakallah Thank you. Thanks for the question. Any more questions, anyone? Yes, I have a question. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yes, um, for the tutoring sessions, um, are, the, are they, is it gonna be subject specific or is it just any, you, you can just do all the subjects with the tutor? Okay, so I'm like, so what we, what on the registration, you are, once you go into the registration to register, you will be prompted. There is a question that requires you, what are the two main subjects that you really need help with? So we want you to prioritize what are the two most important things that, especially for elementary school kids, you know, what are the two main pro, uh, subject that they need tutoring with? And, um, you know, that is one way. Now, if they have a um, homework, so they, they probably there's an essay that you want to write or you are trying to do something, uh, a, a project for school and you have questions. Yes, it could be in science, but you might, you might have chosen to say, okay, I want uh, tutoring in math and reading. You understand? But if you... That, that child uh, at a specific time has a science project. Now the tutor will not do their project for them. What's gonna happen is they will ask questions or clarify things that as we know, sometimes they might write down incomplete explanation, you know, or incomplete assignments. And so based on the tutor's experiences, they will be able to decipher or be able to point them out. Again, most of our tutors, we have educators, we have, all our tutors are college graduates. All our tutors are college graduates. <clears throat> most of them have masters, most, and uh, most of them are in the science, and we have people that are, they are in reading, they have, we have people that, um, that have a degree in English and, you know, literature. So those are the people that will be doing the reading and whatnot with your children. And I am a certified reading teacher. I am certified K through 12 as a reading uh, as a reading teacher. So that also, I am going to be involved with that. So inshallah, when even if the specific tutor cannot help on that specific subject, we have people, we have um, other tutors that might, we might be able to use with whatever assignment, especially for the upper grade students. So, because those are the ones that have specialized um, topic level. Mostly in elementary school is usually general things that, you know, the tutor, one tutor can pretty much um, 
do. And we can also get the resources. We have a plethora of in, in our resources. I have um, access to the MDK to 12, MDK through 12, uh, which is the Maryland State Curriculum. I have access to that. We have this uh, program, I Excel, that is based on the core common, common curriculum for the state also. So that's where we do. I hope I've been able to answer your question. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. All right. There's a, there's a question in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says, can someone attend from out of state? Oh, absolutely. We're not restricting. I like. I, I hope I clarified that in the beginning. We're not restricting it to only those oh. in state. We're opening up the opportunity oh. for everyone. It's just, you know, oh. I mentioned PG County because that's part of our mission was really to address health disparities and scholastic uh, achievement among, you know, um, communities of color, specifically black people in PG County. But absolutely, if you're from out of state, you have no problem with you um, being a part of the program. So yes. like, I have a question. I can sit down. I wanted to know, um, is there a specific time for tutoring services uh, during the week so that we can just plan ourselves? I'm get that. Uh, yeah. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. So this is the thing, um, based on the information that I sent out last week, one of the things we are trying to do is, uh, like I said, this is a free program for our tutors. So uh, in the past week, I have been collecting the um, schedules for the tutor, uh, of our tutors so that we will be able to plug in. And as we are servicing three, four different counties, I think we have students in Howard, Montgomery, Anne Arundel, and PG. And the school system, they have different days. I understand that PG, some schools, they are off on Wednesdays, correct? So we are trying to see who is available for Wednesday during the daytime so that everything is not based on the evening inshallah by the end of this week we are uh, next week rather because we're going into the new week or uh, starting tomorrow by the end of um by next friday we should be having a schedule for the tutoring sessions for the kids based on the availability of your children and also most importantly the availability of the tutors Mm -hmm. Okay, inshallah. Thank you. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. So what I think will happen, Hajaka Fai, is once we get the information for the parents who have signed up for the tutoring, we're going to create a group text or something, a group um, where we can send messages direct specifically to um, the parents. Um, sorry, specifically to the tutoring sessions, the days and things like that. So that information will come along after you've signed up for the tutoring services. Inshallah. Inshallah. No questions. All right, looks like that's it. Again, remember to copy um, copy the information uh, on in the group chat. I'll try to send that as well on email, at least to those. Um, okay, move over to Say that again. Fazia, I saw a question online from uh, one of the parents about. I just uh, it was a, it's a two folded question. What is the scheduled time for the tutoring? And is it a one-on-one -on -one or a group? We already addressed the timing, uh, the, the scheduling for the timing. And at this point in time, I believe it would be a one-on-one -on -one in the sense that um, we, we, since it's virtual, we will like to have, um, for now at least, to make sure that they have a relationship with the tutor. Um, you know, we would like to have one on one with his, with the oh, students. No. So <laughs> Alrighty. So feel free to give us a call um, or send us a text message or email uh, if you have additional questions, and I'll we'll be sure to direct your question to the appropriate person, um, either for the um, virtual homework and tutoring uh, services, the STEM uh, information about the STEM program, or about the clubs. Okay. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thanks for spending this beautiful afternoon with us. Um, and we hope to be in touch. So we look forward to having you all join one of our programs or all of our programs. <laughs> all right. Uh, how do we pay? When you open the link to, someone just asked a question on the chat. 
form. When you open the link to the STEM, it's going to take you to the registration form. Um, and once you submit that, you'll get a link from Sister Zaina uh, from SciTech to you um, telling you exactly how to do that. Okay? All right. I, I don't think there's any more question coming in. I hope we covered everything. I think we covered everything. All right, everyone. So thank you once again. And we'll make this available, the link to this um, chat available when I follow up with email. So if you have friends or other people who may be interested and who want to just learn about what we have to offer, you can always share it with them. Thank you so much, everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.